It's a bit of a dark brew, but it's still pretty cool. Hey guys, I'm finally reviewing another DC Animated Universe movie. This is the new Justice League Dark. Now, I was a bit hesitant about this one, mainly because, again, it was going to be rated R. And really, to be honest, these movies are not rated R. The joke, the killing joke was not rated R. It was PG-13, at most. It just got some swear words. I don't know how this is rated R. There's some animation that I haven't even seen. I've seen clips of it, and that stuff is R. This is a passable 14A maybe because of the swearing either way that also affects the budget in this one the animation is kind of very simplistic in certain areas the same thing with the killing joke obviously when you're doing something that's rated r you're not going to put as much money into it and rightfully so again i don't know why it's rated r it's just killing itself with doing it either way though the aspect of justice league dark was actually really cool i liked how they got the actor from the constantine live action show that was short-lived they had him voice actual constantine this episode but what happens is there's these people who are starting to see demons and it's related to a a return of a ancient dark lord so batman who doesn't like magic but he acknowledges it and he knows that they have to get someone who actually knows their stuff to try and defeat this aspect they get john constantine zatanna swamp thing etrigan and dead man so they're a ragtag bunch that come together to try and defeat the evil of this movie and i like the magic aspect they really got into the lore of what makes these characters what they are. Constantine was absolutely hysterical. So was Batman, actually. Batman actually scares a ghost. He actually scares a ghost in this episode. But, as I said, the animation, not so good. There is a pretty cool fight scene that happens near the climax. And I like the aspects of the characters. I liked how actually dark it is. And they have what the interactions with the characters, how some characters actually get killed off. And that was pretty dark in certain areas. The final battle is actually pretty darn cool. Now, while Batman is in it, he's not the main focus. He's kind of guy along for the ride. The main characters are Zatanna, Constantine, and Deadman. And there's also a giant shit monster in this episode. I couldn't believe that I was seeing that being drawn. That was actually pretty creepy. The interactions between the characters are actually really good, too, between Jason Blood... Constantine, Zatanna, this sort of friendship slash betrayal of each other is actually really cool. I liked how they went into the depth of the characters despite the fact that they only had 75 minutes to try and compose a movie. The biggest problem with this movie, besides the lacking budget of animation, is how predictable the story is. I was able to bet who the bad guy was about 20 minutes in. And <laughs> that's unfortunate because that's the problem with these DC animated movies is that they are so short that they have to try and compile a giant story into less than 80 minutes. And with that, some obvious telltale story tropes appear. And it's unfortunate because this is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. A lot of people said it was going to be really bad. But honestly, I enjoyed it. I think it had a cool character ideal. I think it had a cool concept. The end battle was different from what I was expecting. And I enjoyed how dark this movie was. So while it does have flaws, both with its structure and its animation style, I can't deny that the characters and the story parts that weren't tropey were actually really entertaining so in the end i'm going to give justice league dark a five out of seven it's enjoyable is it buyable i wouldn't say so because the fact that i have this on blu-ray it's not really going to change your opinion of how good it looks because of how cheap the animation is so dvd is honestly the best idea if you're going to go and get this anyway guys that's all for me i hope you enjoyed this review i'll see you guys next time